how you set up the experience for the infant and toddler and young child has a huge effect on brain development. So if you understand the story or the scientific basis behind this, the point is very clear. The earlier, the better if you want to enhance early child development. The first 2,000 days of a child's life are critical because in those days, the architecture of their brain is going to be set. Their life trajectories are set in three key areas, learning, health and behavior. Fraser Mustard Institute for Human Development is a remarkable system-wide initiative of the University of Toronto, bringing together researchers and educators from multiple disciplines, multiple backgrounds, to focus on the importance of the first 2,000 days of life. You might wonder, how are Stephen Lies um, and I directing this? We both have deep interests in how the scientific knowledge um, translates and interacts with the educational knowledge. We come together because of our interest in how this early experience shapes the brain of the child and also the body and how the brain and body interact. University of Toronto is blessed with many centers of excellence, individuals who have great passion for conducting research at many levels, research in neurocognitive development, in education, in the social determinants of health, if you're going to tackle the big issues in human development, they're complex and they require a variety of different perspectives to be brought to bear on them if you're going to figure things out. IHD will address issues of global importance, yet in academia the tendency has been to focus on disciplinary elements and we want to get away from that. We want to break down those silos to create sparks of innovation such as what is responsible for the global epidemic of obesity and diabetes in our children and youth, and how can we prevent these diseases and sustain our healthcare system? How can we improve a child's readiness for school, increasing their potential for learning and their contribution to a knowledge-driven economy? The genes are listening to the environment. We can't know information about our genes alone or the environment that we experienced alone to answer the question of who's at risk we need to know how they interact. This leads to the transdisciplinary nature of the Institute. We are already talking about taking on a project uh, for Indigenous children and Indigenous education. This sort of work would be a huge contribution to development of potential. We have a way of turning research findings into concrete policies and services. Fraser Mustard would be the single most important person who has advanced the science of early child development not just in Canada, in the world. One of the things that I'm really excited about is the opportunity to train the next generation of researchers. So what we're doing at IHD is developing undergrad courses that um, every student who comes into University of Toronto can take. My hopes for the Institute is that it will not only produce groundbreaking research, but that it will lead to the establishment of a new discipline. Um, and that will be another first for Canada and for the University of Toronto. Another goal of the Fraser Mustard Institute is to engage the public in understanding human development, what their concerns are, and how the University of Toronto, through this endeavor, can make a difference in society. Everybody is interested in human development. Everybody is interested in seeing that every child gets off to the best possible start. I don't think there's a person in the world that isn't engaged with that very thought. The amount of progress that you see with a child within the first 2,000 days, it's amazing. You actually learn a lot more about yourself as a human and how you grow, you grow and develop and, and what you needed and what you still need. It's very exciting. I think it's, a, it's going to be his legacy for the world. Why should they not take the task of making certain every program in the university understands the story of human development, early child development? We have to understand that this story affects every discipline a university has.